Tonight, the U.S. Attorney's Office of Eastern Washington filed a complaint against MultiCare and Deaconess Hospital, claiming they knowingly put patients at risk and fraudulently billed patients for unnecessary surgeries. Crem 2's Kyle Simchuk is looking through the complaint, new at 10 tonight. A complaint filed in federal district court says MultiCare knowingly endangered patients and fraudulently billed Medicare and Medicaid to the tune of millions of dollars for spinal surgeries performed at Deaconess Hospital between 2019 and 2021. The surgeries in question were performed by Dr. Jason Dreyer. According to the complaint, Dr. Dreyer resigned from Providence years earlier after being accused of performing unnecessary surgeries, harming patients, and falsifying diagnoses. The complaint says MultiCare ignored those red flags when they hired Dr. Dreyer, recognizing he was a, quote, workhorse. According to the complaint, MultiCare placed the doctor on an incentive compensation structure, meaning the more surgeries he performed, the more money he made. The complaint states the U.S. Attorney's Office informed MultiCare it was investigating Dr. Dreyer in 2020. However, MultiCare and Deaconess allowed him to continue operating on patients until the Washington Department of Health stripped him of surgical privileges in 2021. When I saw the articles, I was very upset and disappointed, but I was not surprised. Krem2 interviewed one of Dreyer's patients in 2021. Oz Allwater was diagnosed with a pinched nerve and wanted to avoid surgery. He asked for alternatives like steroid injections, but says Dreyer steered him in a different direction. I do remember him. He was very uh, optimistic about that surgery. He was kind of excited talking about it. Allwater says a week after the surgery, the pain returned and persisted. Allwater is not the only patient to come forward. According to the complaint, Providence, Dreyer's former employer, agreed to pay $22.7 million to resolve its liability concerning surgical procedures performed by him. Dr. Dreyer agreed to pay $1.2 million to resolve his individual liability under the False Claims Act. Krem2 reached out to MultiCare. They responded saying, quote, MultiCare has not yet received the complaint filed by the Department of Justice. We can assure you that MultiCare's commitment to our mission, partnering for healing and a healthy future, and our dedication to the health of the communities we serve is as strong as ever. The safety of our patients is and always will be our highest priority. We look forward to the chance to defend ourselves in this matter. In Spokane, Kyle Simchuk, Krem2 News.